Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuesday and I love unboxing fashion with all of you. I am going to show you three purses that I picked up from Amazon via the try before you buy program or whatever. I really wasn't intending to be shopping for purses right now. I mean, I was, but I wasn't. Anyways, I'll explain the whole thing. Let's just get into it. So what had happened was, <laughs> actually my husband needed some things um, and I wanted him to try them on before he made a decision. And so um, I found them on Amazon via the try before you buy program. And um, I thought, well, since I'm getting a box anyways, he only needed four things or three things or whatever it was that he needed. And I was like, let me just go ahead and fill the box up with things I want to try. So um, I am shopping for a new spring purse, um, but I wasn't really intending to be on Amazon looking for it. It was just kind of be one of those things that I was just going to run into it and be like, that's the one. Um, but I haven't really been having any luck. And at this point, we're coming into summer, um, at least in these parts, it's um, hitting those almost those 100 degree marks. So it's definitely getting more summer esque outside. So I guess now I'm actually looking for a summer bag instead of a spring bag. But regardless, this is what I was looking for. I wanted something that was um, kind of neutral that would go with a lot of what I already have in my closet. It needed to be an everyday bag. I have a ton of purses, you guys. So if this is not like a very high priority kind of thing on my, you know, uh, shopping wish list. But I just don't feel like I have a bag that I love that's an everyday bag. The one that kind of just sits in its little spot every day that I, you know, go to when it's time to run errands, go to the grocery store, you know, quickly go hang out with my husband or something. I, I of course, have tons of bags for a particular moment or a particular outfit. Um, but just that everyday bag, I really need a new one or I want a new one I should say so I needed it to be neutral um I also on my wish list was that it be a, a top handle bag something that I could carry kind of like this um or just kind of in the crook of my elbow not so much a shoulder bag I have a ton of back neck etc issues and so having a bag on my shoulder constantly um at least when it's just hanging down on one side and the weight isn't well distributed is just not a good thing for my body so um a top handle bag is kind of best it also is kind of the kind of bag i prefer most of my favorite bags are have that kind of top handle on them but i want the option of a cross body which means one, it has to have a strap and fit across, you know, my body and in, in a way that's comfortable for me. Um, but it also can't be super big, which is good because that's also on my list. Um, you know, if you have like a really large crossbody bag, then it just looks clunky and it's banging against your body when you walk. So I don't, I didn't want that. I also don't want a large bag because I have a ton of large bags and what ends up happening is I just have an abyss that I'm kind of digging through when I'm looking for my keys or my wallet or whatever. And that's just not a good look for me either. And it gets really frustrating. I, I have always been the woman who is trying to carry as little as possible. So although I think I have a pretty well rounded amount of things that go in my everyday bag, there's much less than I think other women have in their bag. I don't have children, so there's not snacks or baby wipes or, you know, extra things that you might have when you have children. Um, I also don't carry a lot of extra things for my husband either because I'm just not that person. So um, I just carry the things that I think I'm going to need when I'm going to be away from home for, you know, longer than maybe an hour or two or whatever. So I don't, I don't carry a lot of stuff. I carry enough, but I don't carry a lot. And I try to just carry the absolute minimum. So I don't need a super huge bag, although I like a large tote bag. I really, really do. But honestly, like I said, when it's time to go find something like my little round count uh, canister of lip balm or something, and I'm digging through all that space, and I can't find it, it is so frustrating for me. So I'd really prefer something um, smaller. I, I just think that would be um, that would be better for me. And then I feel like, oh, there's one more thing I'm looking for. <laughs> I, I, I'm, being, I'm trying to be very specific, which is why I was saying I, I didn't think that I was going to 
be particularly shopping for a purse. I was just going to run into the right one. But anyways, here we are. Um, the last thing that it needs to be is easily accessible. So a lot of bags have zippers and clasp and whatever. They just make it kind of hard to get into, particularly one-handed, which is oftentimes what I'm doing. Um, usually like I'm out shopping. So I have something in one hand and I have my bag like maybe across my shoulder. So I need to like be able to dig into the bag easily and not be futzing with a lot of irritating clasp, clunky zippers. You know, I just want to be able to kind of get in and out of it easily. Although I do want the security of being able to close it when I want to, because sometimes there are occasions when I'm out, particularly for somewhere that's crowded or, you know, very public, um, where I want to be able to zip that bag so nobody can just reach their hands into it and grab something. Um, but I also want to be able to easily get into it when I want to. So there's a lot of things that are going on there, handles and straps and, you know, not too big and clearly not too small um, and easily accessible. Plus, it's got to be neutral and it's got to be a great everyday bag. So it's got to, you know, hold up to just a, a little bit of beating. But um, I, I feel like that bag is out there somewhere. And maybe it's one of these three that I picked up from Amazon. So let's take a look at them. The first bag I picked up is from Nine West, and I actually sh probably should have looked a little closer at the name of the um, colorway on this, but that's okay. It's not um, it's not that it's a bad color. It's just not quite as, I guess, neutral. Although I have a lot of yellow in my wardrobe and I have a lot of black and white in my wardrobe, which means I can really go with any color I want to. And I feel like this subtle yellow is almost a natural. Um, I really like the pebbled, grain of this um of this material here it does have a nice structured bottom here so it feels like it's going to sit flat and not fall over um but and, and it has a nice grip to the handle here um it doesn't feel too bulky in the hand it feels actually really really comfortable but i have a few things about it um first of all the the crossbody strap and I'm gonna try and take some video and insert them in here so you guys can really see this but the crossbody is not doesn't seem like it's integral to the bag like this bag would would probably just be better off just being a uh, top handled bag I feel like this would be, would be better if the crossbody sat on the sides here like if there was a, a loop here to it attach to attach it to so it'd be side to side then it would be a better crossbody because it doesn't actually like sit across the body very nicely and I didn't adjust the strap on this because it, there's a uh, tag here but it just doesn't sit across the body really comfortably um it feels a little bulky and like I was mentioning to you guys sometimes when a crossbody is um too big then it's just like slamming against your body all the time and that's no fun um but beyond the handle it does have like a nice zip here although the zip is um it definitely needs to be worn in it feels very new so it's a little bit hard to like zip up and down um it's pretty spacious on the inside but I do feel like it because it's so structured it wants to like close it wants to be this way it's not really designed to kind of hang out open this is a very structured bag and I appreciate a structured bag actually um this one has a nice like middle opening here that's you know would hold more than enough um, it's got some zipper pocket, a zipper pocket on the inside here. It also has just like a regular unzippered pocket. And then there's also space on the sides, on both um, sides of the, the like main body here. So if you had like papers or something you wanted to keep close there, this is actually a good option for things that you want to grab quickly, like maybe a cell phone or something. So this isn't like a bad option. Um, it just doesn't feel like I don't know super comfortable and it's also very um it's very struck like I said very structured and so it has that very like office chic vibe to it um and it also has some snaps on the side here to kind of help keep this closed and again give it that shape um the on the other thing I don't really 100% love about this bag although I'm looking at these other ones to see what they're like but you guys, um, you know, like bags get ended with this um, finish here. The, you see the dark edging here. And a lot of bags have this. This one is particularly pronounced for some reason. Um, 
And I just find that when bags are like that, a lot of times, and it usually happens on the handle first, is that it starts to lift and then it just starts ripping off. And then of course you've got to replace the bag. Um, it inevitably happens with almost, almost all the bags I have, except for like my very high end bags. Um, and I don't want to spend like a crap ton of money on this bag because it's going to get beat up. Um, but I don't know. Um, it's a great bag overall. Um, it's listed as 89, but I 100% know I did not pay that much for, or did not, um, it wasn't listed for that much money. Let me grab my paperwork so I can tell you how much it is. Okay, so this is the Nine West Shaden Jet Set Satchel in Golden Sunset, and they have it listed for $53.40. Um, and I feel like it is very Jet Set. Like, this is something I would, I would travel with for sure. Um, I really like it as a as like a bag just to have in my collection. I think it's really cute, but as an everyday bag, mm, I'm not sure that that's quite what I'm looking for. Let's move on to the second bag. This little outfit here is by um, Aldo. <laughs> and I have another bag by Aldo that I really, really love. And I actually wear it quite often. The problem with that Aldo bag is the clasp. It's, um, it's more of a top handle bag. It's, it feels very, um, it has like Gucci vibes to it and it closes over the front and you've got to twist this little piece to like get it open. And while I really love the bag, it's just not practical for when I need to get in and out of my bag on a regular basis. Um, the size on this bag here, and this one is called, sorry, I don't have my paperwork here in order. All right, this is the, uh, I think this is called the Glodith. I'm not 100%, but um, I will list everything in the description box below with all the correct details. So this is, I think, the Glodith tote bag in cognac, um, and it's uh, listed as $42.77 currently, because y'all know the pricing on Amazon, like, differs from second to second, so... That'll just give you kind of a um, idea of where the pricing is currently. Because I will say the other Aldo bag that I purchased also from uh, Try Before You Buy, I got it for such a steal and I didn't even realize it. Um, I think I paid like 40 some odd dollars for it and it regularly goes for 60 and I have not seen it as low as I got it um, since I purchased it last summer. So there's, there's that. Anyways, this is this cute little bag. I love the shape of it. Um, I, I think this is the perfect crossbody size as far as that goes. I don't love the feeling of the handles in my hand though. They're kind of thick with that braided handle. I think it's cool. I just don't think it's very, um, it just doesn't feel good in the hand. I also don't love the way that these handles are finished. So like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but right here is the finish of the braiding here. And it just doesn't seem like it's going to hold up over time, but that's just me. Um, the crossbody on it seems okay, but again, it is the same problem as um, the last bag is that it goes from handle to handle as opposed to going from one side of like one um, side of the body of the bag to the other, which is the a better way for, for cross bodies really. Um, so that makes it kind of just not not the most comfortable. As far as the inside of the bag goes, it has again this kind of this clasp here that I'm not 100% in love with um, just because it's there first of all and it's always going to be kind of like in the way when I'm trying to um, get into the bag and then also I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys this. Let me see if I can get the paper out first so you guys can see. Okay, so this bag does kind of a weird thing. Can you see how this like lifts up here? So this is the clasp. I don't understand why it wasn't just attached to the bag so that it would stay down instead of flip up like that. But alas, it is what it is. Here's the inside. Here's one side. Here's the other side. And then there's also a zippered midsection that's a little bit smaller there. So again, Plenty of room for everything that I need. There are no interior pockets 
beyond that middle zippered section um, and no exterior pockets either. So um, you'll definitely have to dig into the bag if you want anything out of it. Um, it's not a it's not a bad bag. It's just this is just also not exactly what I'm looking for for an everyday carry all. OK, let's take a look at this last bag. Um, this is by a brand called Yalux. I don't know. I've never heard of it. It's probably one of those Amazon, like they only sell on Amazon type bags, but whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Um, so this is it. It's got kind of a, uh, well, I don't know what kind of shape, like what exactly style to call it, but um, it's definitely kind of squared off. On the back, it's got a zippered pocket here, which I think is nice because again, I can put things that I need to quickly access into this pocket side here. Um, and then it has a zippered top. I'll show you the inside. It's just, well, it's two, two separate compartments there, but it's all contained within, which means easy access. So I could easily leave this unzipped, you know, if I'm, especially if I'm wearing a crossbody and can kind of keep it close to my body, um, but still have easy access into this area here. And then anything that's really need that really needs to be secured, I can put into this middle zipper po pocket, which is uh, the interior there. There is also beyond that uh, zippered middle section, there's another uh, zippered pocket on the side here. And there is an unzipped pocket um, inside. It's got that like two, the two pockets, like you could fit your cell phone on one side and something else on the other. Um, I'm looking at the stitching. I see a few little threads in there, but not anything that I think is, you know, um, gonna deal with the structure of the bag. This is supposed to be a leather bag as far as I can tell just based on um, based on the tag here. So there is that and again it has that kind of pebbled uh, look to it and of course as with leather, leather you can see that there are some that like each piece is a little bit distinct you know what I'm saying so um, they'll of course all kind of wear in over time. Um, Let's talk about the handle. So this is the the like top handle. It's not exactly what I had in mind for a top handle, but the other thing, the great thing is that of course, the crossbody strap goes from side to side as opposed to like, you know, across the bag because there is no like, handles but that being said like this isn't this isn't like a really big drop here so I could totally carry it in my hand like this I can you know put it into the crook of my shoulder or I or I could put it up on my shoulder and because it's a short uh distance from the strap to the body of the bag I feel like it's distributed a little bit more comfortably um on the shoulder this is a nice wide strap so much like a bra strap that's you know wide it's a lot more comfortable on the shoulder it's not like digging into my shoulder which is nice but the great part about this is actually the crossbody strap so on the outside it's that leather that matches the bag and then on the inside it's a it's a like a uh braided ribbon material you know so more like a, a guitar strap and I really like that I also I mean all of the straps on all these bags are detachable obviously so if I you know wanted to replace this with something else like a guitar strap type um, crossbody um, strap which I have a few of that I could do that and I feel like this purse totally leans into that vibe it has boho-esque type vibes to it it also has some cool detail here, which I love. Um, the, the edgy part of me really loves this detail. So there's this that's happening on the side here. So there's some definitely some elements about this that I feel are very in tune with my style. And this is exactly the kind of bag that you want kind of for every day. It's not too big. Um, because it's not super structured, it's, structured, it's going to lay across the um, body really nicely um, and not be like banging against you. Um, I feel like it's not so deep that I won't be able to see stuff. I feel like um, it's great for, you know, getting in and out of very quickly. But like I said, I also have the option of zipping that top part um, up and it feeling very secure. Um, this is a nice bag. I'm kind of surprised. Um, let me see what the pricing is on it. 
This is the Yelux Genuine Leather Shoulder Bag with cross bear, um, the crossbody travel, they call it a top handle. Um, it's $52.99. And one other thing I guess I should note about this as well is that this, this top handle um, is a little bit adjustable. There's snaps here, so you can make it uh, a little bit longer if you wanted to. I have it on the shortest ones right now. So that's the last bag. Um, I'd be interested to hear what your thoughts are on these bags, if you like any of them. I like all three of them for different reasons, but I'm not sure if any of them actually fulfill my uh, requirements for kind of a new neutral summer, spring, everyday bag. But maybe. If there was one that was close, it's definitely that last one. But let me know what you, you all think and, and let me know if you're interested in any of these bags, if you might consider purchasing them. I really do like this Nine West bag. I love the structure of it. And I think like if I wasn't looking specifically for something, I would definitely get this bag. I really love it. The Aldo bag, it's cute, but I don't love the way it feels in my hand. Um, and this is the only one that I would consider for what I'm looking for right now. But Y'all tell me more about the things you're looking for in an everyday handbag. I would love to hear about it. Leave it all in the comments below. I love, love having conversations with you guys. All right, that's it for now. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you've watched this long and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. All right, I will talk to you in the next video. Live with love. Bye.